Hi, I'm Lawrence Whipler. For some time now, I've been working on a theory of everything to unite the fundamental forces. This theory of everything is based on the magnetic monopole. Now, in this video, I will explain how a cathode ray tube, a CRT, works using this new theory. Now, a cathode ray tube is what your older television sets used to, you know, for your picture. Now, um, most of them will say that it has an electron gun, which shoots a beam of electrons. But using my theory, there are no electrons, only monopoles, because the electricity is created by separating these monopoles. Now, in this case, we'll have a stream of south magnetic monopoles, which would be, you know, called your electrons. And over here, we have a coating on the inside of the tube, which would be your anode. And of course, this here is your cathode. That's why they call it a cathode ray tube. And over here, we have your north monopoles, otherwise known as positive electricity. Okay, now we all know that north and south attract each other, so it is positive and negative. They're actually the same thing. Okay. Now what you have here to deflect this beam of monopoles, which is not electrons, they're monopoles. Okay, you can call them electrons if you like. Now, here you have negative or south monopoles. Let's put south there. Now, if you want to deflect this beam down, you're going to attract the stream of monopoles by using its opposite, a north magnetic pole. Now, it'll bring this beam down because north and south attract each other. This one here, being a south pole, this being south stream of south magnetic poles or monopoles is going to repel, also pushing it down. Now, if you switch the two around, of course, it's going to do the opposite. Now, what attracts this south monopole to here is this coating that you have on here. It acts just like a capacitor. So you're actually going to have a large amount of north monopoles coating the front of that screen, which is what it's going to attract it to. And it's going to strike the phosphor, and it's going to convert that energy into something you can see, which is where you get your picture from. Now this, in a nutshell, is how a cathode ray tube works using this new theory.